Hey everyone, Ava Paul here, and today we're going to be playing Within. This is developed by Crux Game Studios, and you can find this over at Itch.io. I have a link in the description, you can all check it out. In this game, we play as a girl named Maya, who gets a phone call from her brother, and then strange things start happening after that. So, let's just get into it. They abandoned the god who had made them. They sacrificed unto demons whom they knew not. <clears throat> <laughs> ah, that's supposed to be I us. I haven't heard from my brother in over three months, which wasn't unusual. Nick tends to disappear for Nick. months at a time. Not Fuck you, Nick. Calls, and then he's <laughs> that's a little... Uh, if anyone watches... Gotten used to it. Uh, Appish Box Gear. Yeah. I don't blame him. Not even... The childhood we had. He's a I buddy of mine. Uh, he just did a game, and it cracked me up because he said, Fuck you, Nick, in it. And now that's all I think about. <laughs> When I hear the word Nick. Last night at around 3 a.m. Oh, of course, 3 a.m. Nothing good ever happens at 3 a.m. According to all those, you know, weird YouTube channels. I called SpongeBob at 3 a.m. What kind of trouble? Nothing I can't handle. I'll figure it out. Whatever you do, don't come looking for me. I'll call you when things are right. I don't think our character intended to go looking for you. I must have called him dozens of times, but there was no answer. And then his phone was switched off. And not to bother. The next available flight out early next morning. You really don't I listen, do you? On the plane. I kept thinking about what kind of trouble he might be in. He said, "Don't go looking for him." As soon as I landed, I checked You're the an hotel idiot. and then took a cab to the last address I had for him. In the pre-dawn light, the city seemed to grow more decrepit the further in I went, like a thing whose core was growing rotten. I don't know what kind of trouble he's in, but when we were growing up, after Ma died, when it was just the two of us, he'd come to me when he was in real deep and needed saving. And I would save him. But he's not asking you to save him this time. You just like to butt your nose in everyone's business, don't you? Ding. I should get this over with quickly. I'll find him, make sure he's okay, then head back. I'm already missing a day at work. Let's see, he should be at apartment 405. And looky there, we're already on the fourth floor. Left click objects in your surroundings to interact. Oh my god, that's a slow walk. No sprint? Oh no, 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 no. Whose bright idea was it to leave this open? A child might fall in. Yeah, that is true. Somebody should really close this shaft. It's an accident waiting to happen. Yeah, like, can we fall down? No, we can't. Okay. Why do we have no sprint? We really were in a hurry to look after our brother. We'd be sprinting right now. I know it. <clears throat> All right. 403 at 404. We gotta go past that stuff. We just go in here and say that's 405. Hmm? Ring a ding ding? Nope. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's just keep going. Come on, Nick. What trouble are you getting us into? Hello? Yeah. You don't know who's there, but let's call after them. Hello, hello. There was someone just here. No, there wasn't. What's this? Nothing? I can't crouch that. So, okay. Well, this is it. I should just ring the doorbell, see if he answers. Although, if he's been drinking, I don't have much hope. Doorbell. Ding no. 
dong. Ding dong. Answer your good. Answer the door. I guess he's either not home or he's sleeping off a drunken binge, which would not be entirely surprising. Maybe I should just try to open the door and let myself in. Breaking and entering. Here we go. Gosh, what is that smell? Nick? Why does this place look Nick, like... are you here? Ah, look at that. He's using soda cans as an ashtray. There's got to be a light switch somewhere. You would think so. We got one here. Yeah, there we go. Now we How can see everything. How is like this? This is terrible. I don't know. Would it hurt to clean up a little? Ooh. In his defense, yes. Yes, he could. Scarred wrappers and cans. Once I find him, I'm going to have to see about getting him some real food while I'm here. Looks like he's literally living out of a suitcase at this point. He told me he was making money on a freelance web development gig. Was that all a lie? What's he doing with the money he gets? Don't know. Oh, we got a photo though. Is that our ma? I kept this old picture of ma. It is. This was taken maybe a year before she died. Before the cancer started turning her into skin and bones. Oh, flashback. Kind of abrupt, too. When Ma got sick, he was eight and I was 15. We watched her waste away and die from cancer. We never knew our father. No kid should have to lose both parents so early. Mm. We moved in with Aunt Sheba after that. She mostly left us alone, so I had to pretty much raise him. Or at least I tried. I did the best I could, but... Hell, I was dealing with my own demons. Mm -hmm. I you sure do like to talk a lot. Substitute for Ma. Oh yes, what was you? You had to look after someone. Oh boo hoo! Do not open. Go back. Right, like this is gonna keep me out. Mm, maybe it should. Nick, are you in there? <clears throat> are you okay? Open this door. No, not in the hair, my chinny chin chin. I guess I should find some other way to get it open. A key? I think I just lost my appetite. Garbage. First thing I'm going to help him do is clean this place up. That alone should bring some positivity to his life situation. Uh, light switch for the bathroom, maybe? Yeah, I don't know. I don't see one. Dark in here. Alright, so the outside switch is for the inside of the bathroom. That's great. Not used to that. I've never had a bathroom. <laughs> the light switch was on the outside. But yet, game developers love that stuff. I don't know why. Alright, I don't see anything that can get this open. I remember that shirt. I think I'd given it to him for a birthday. Why can't he get a bed like a normal person? I don't know. It's convenient. Right, we gotta find something like a key. I don't know. Well, there you go. Looks like he's fallen off the wagon again. Oh, Nick. I sometimes think if he hadn't had that accident, if his best buddy Alex hadn't been killed, Things might have turned out different for Oh, him. please don't tell me this is another flashback. Was 16, driving home from a party. Alex in the passenger seat. Oh my god, it is going to be a flashback. Nick had no business being behind the wheel that night. He was drunk out of his mind. Yep, yeah, like I said, Alex fuck you, Nick. On the spot. Nick survived, but he could never forgive himself for Alex's death. With Ma gone, I was supposed to be the parent. Rein him in. I should have been tougher with him. I messed up there. I eh. guess I neglected him when it mattered. You tried. That's on me. Or maybe you didn't. I don't know. I gotta find a way into that bathroom. I, I don't know what to do. 
I can't leave. Uh, oh, something's happening. Hey, access. Hello? Nick, are you in there? Quit playing. Yeah, open up. Jeez. Okay. Hello? Hello? How did this door open? There's got to be a light. The latch was somewhere. faulty, that's all. Light. Hmm. Sure does like demonic stuff. 40 degrees Celsius. I don't know what that is. <laughs> that's like what, 80 degrees? I don't know. Posters. I see his taste in music hasn't changed. All the death metal and occult stuff he was always into. <sighs> he used to be a kid who loved pop. Occult. The heaviest thing he listened to was like Metallica. When he hit his teens, everything changed. It was like his personality flipped overnight. He began to sink into this dark place. Started hanging out with the kind of kids who spell trouble. Got into weed, alcohol, hey, 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 and hey. Then harder stuff. Nothing wrong with Some the weed and alcohol. He became unhinged. He talked about renouncing God and worshiping spirits or some such thing. I tried to talk sense into him. Oh my I felt like every God, this Maya loves to hear herself talk. He kept telling me he couldn't wait to leave and live on his own. Makes me not want to check well, anything anymore. All his money's going, but where the hell is he? Ooh. Looks like a Dreamcast. He used to love these consoles growing up. He'd spend hours locked into those games. I guess it was an escape for him after Ma passed and we were living at Aunt Sheba's. The worst period of our lives. He was such a quiet kid back then. Wait, stop talking. Okay, good. I was she was just going to keep going. Just trash. I'm not digging through that. Good choice. Finally, someone in a horror game that made a good choice on something. It's like every game. It's the same thing. Oh, there's a putrid looking toilet bowl with crap still in there. Let me stick my hand in. I'm sure there's some goodie down there. I wonder if he still actually plays. He was obsessed with the guitar for a while in school, formed a band. They weren't all that good. Lasted all of six months. I should check this computer. Maybe it'll give me some clue to what's going on with him. Don't check the web history. Oh, I can turn it on. Oh my god. I, UB slot. Shh. All right. <laughs> Got to find a USB somewhere. Monitor. What does it say here? Main processor. Da, 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 da. USB drive? Let me see if I can find one. That's what I just said a little bit ago. This looks days old. How long ago did he talk to us? Like one day ago? I don't know. Open drawer. We found it. There's a lot of stuff in here. USB drive. I thought that was, but that's just, I think that's an eraser. This could be it. Oh, I'll Random check it. Junk. Nothing useful. Good. How, how do I get closed drawer? Okay. <laughs> What's in this one? CQQ. Nothing useful here. Sure. One thing I know about horror games, anything could be useful. Boop. Okay, what do we got now? Sandbox OS. Safety, security, and um and amenity. Okay, we got play log and oh we can't check game. Oh wait, yes we can. I, I shouldn't have checked that. Unknown. Okay. Player log. Uh, I finally got it all set up. The Sandbox OS. A heavily secure modded Linux variant running as a virtual PC. And the game contained within. This may be overkill, but it's better to be precautious considering the rep urban legends around this game. A single exe file, not very cleverly named. No instructions. To think it took me nearly six months to track it down on the dark web. The things I had to trawl through to find it. Things I don't think I can ever unsee. Ah, uh, I don't have much hope for humanity anyway. We're broken beyond redemption. I'll continue taking notes in these text files. If this game is the real deal, it'd make for some interesting reading. I could edit and put it... Uh, I could edit it and put out a Reddit post, maybe. 
maybe do an accompanying video playthrough. Would be a cool way to start the gaming content channel I've always wanted to, but never got around to doing. It's easy to start a channel, but not easy to constantly, <laughs> consistently put out content. I admire those who do. With my track record of starting projects, I eventually abandon. I think I know how that will end up. Oh my god, another person that likes to talk a lot. Anyway, first things first. I have to get the game to work. It keeps crashing when I click it. The lore says that it works at random. You just have to keep clicking. The code is probably corrupted. The urban legends around the game are fascinating, if not profoundly disturbing. For example, a guy who played it... Okay, that's it. Sure. Just try to get the game to go, I guess. Unknown. Oh, third time's not a charm. How about fourth? Yay, we did it. Wait, we're actually playing now? We're playing a game in a game. How meta. Eh, I'm not good at reading graffiti. Okay. I can't... I still can't run. Yeah, I... Don't think I'm gonna get through that. Uh, I guess I have to go up to the, uh... This. Yeah, I agree. Whatever you, you're saying. Sounds good. Ooh. That way? Or this way. Oh, multiple ways. I don't like this. I, a door. What's that? Just a single little red light? It's not an eye, is it? Alright, let's see, let's see. Oh, you're going to open that door for me, aren't you? Not much of a game. Hey. Hey, you knew my... Yeah, that must be Nick. Nick, what are you doing in here? I'm looking for you. You're not supposed to be in a game. Oh. Huh? Okay. Player log three. That file wasn't there before. I have to play your log it. two. Got it to run. First impressions, creepy, but mostly crappy. A grainy, pixelated PS2 era style walking sim. I hate walking sims. Why do people make them? The game's also unstable. Crashed four times already. Good thing I sandboxed it. It's chewing up OS files and then randomly spitting them back. How is the OS still going? It's lost system folders. Everything on the desktop including my play log text, and even the recycling bin. The game has no credits, no title screen, no save load. After every crash, it randomly tells a, teleports you to a different levels. Well, I mean, you are playing on a virtual console, right? It really wouldn't mess up your system. It was hard to find. I had to trawl through fake leads and BS. I would have given up sooner had I not believed that there was some truth to the stories. I finally stumbled on the game almost by accident, following an anon link to a file dump on an Onion server. I found it amidst crypt cryptically named zip archives, many of them full of unspeakable images. The myth of the game, which I pierced together, shifting through the volumes of shit posts for slivers of truth, just that only one copy can exist at a time, and that it selects the player by allowing itself to be found by those seeking it. It is said to have been birthed in the dark web, that seedy underbelly of humanity's worst impulses, forged not by human hands, but by some unknown force. As I spent hours digging into this, the old compulsions are 
inexorably returning. Dark thoughts, guilt, a craving for alcohol. I've started drinking again. It's impossible to resist. Hmm, liquid candy. The symbols in the graffiti are pre-Sumerian, suggesting an ancient entity, likely a greater demon that latches onto its host. Perhaps most disturbing of all is the notion that it can affect... Okay. Do we still play, or... I guess so. Loading. Now where am I? Wait a minute, I was... I was already here. Now you said you'd teleport me somewhere different. You liars. Yeah, I think just wants to talk. Why do demons sound like drunk people? Slurring everything around. Okay. So we got some light. What door can you unlock? I don't know. Nick. Oh no, Nick. System failure. Restart required. I'm yeah, sure that's okay. Nick's photo in there, but that makes no sense. I've got to get this game going again. <laughs> okay, shouldn't be that hard to do. Yeah. Okay. Definitely nothing that hard to do. Looks like it's crashed. Oh. I should restart the computer. Okay. Yeah, what's that inside the computer? Oh, I can't see. Jeez, ah, that scared me. <laughs> Just the lights. The electrics here are falling apart like the rest of the building. Can I just shut the door? Eh, let's see. What is going on? Uh, player log 5. Oh my god, more text. Uh, getting worse. Growing signs of malevolence. Waking nightmares, oppressive thoughts. General malaise. Mal yeah, malaise. <laughs> An intense craving for defilement. Weird sounds from the other room. Voices, footsteps, shifting shadows. An hour ago, the webcam turned on by itself and took a pic. I was able to identify the entity from the symbols in the graffiti. Bale Nagin, aka the ill spirit of guilt and grief. Here's the entry from Deacon, perhaps the only demonology wiki with some authenticity. A greater demon from pre-biblical times, first worshipped in the Lagani sect in the then Sumeria, requires human sacrifice, feeds on fatalism. Guilt and grief manifest in the recurring nightmares of killers. In the lust regret cycles of sex offenders, in the dying oog of fake, I, I can't read that one, of dead men walking, in the guilt borne by family members of suicide victims, in the PTSD of war survivors, in the haunting dread of good people gone irrevocably wrong? A vile parasitic. Paras oh my god, my mouth can't work right. A vile parasitic being that consumes those who it selects. Damn, these people like to talk. You can tell they're related. Jeez. Thought at first that there was no point to the game. Just walk from point A to point B, activating shrines. But the simplicity could be deliberate. <clears throat> A pattern of the symbols. The piles of refuse and filth. The writings on the scrolls. All of this suggests an invo invocation. If so, the point of the game may be to simply complete it. If I made a terrible mistake, what have I awakened in the deep dark? The game is trying to... Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Uh, game. Yeah, it's had no problem now that I've gotten it on. Oh? So like any good horror game, we go follow the figure. Because why not? 
Hey, we found a shrine. Not quite what we were looking for. We were looking for a person. One of four collected. Okay. Great. I got one. Uh. Hmm. Don't know where to go. This could... Oh, good. Another one. Alright. Alright. So we chose a good path. I think it matters. There's four of them, so... Alright, something has opened. But what has opened? Huh? Okay. <laughs> Didn't, I thought for a second that warped me or something, but... No, oh, good. Hey, I thought I was supposed to collect four things. Only got two. Yeah, whatever you're saying. Maya. Maya. Help me. Please. <clears throat> you have to help me. I don't know. I'm scared, Maya. It's awful here. Please help me. No. Help yourself. Unknown error. That was Nick's voice. I'm sure of it. I'm gonna get this PC going again. Uh, really? Again? <sighs> hmm. Hello? Is someone there? No one in the bathroom. Maybe we should it's just stop here. playing the game. The Front. Wait, I can leave now. I can't leave just yet. Oh. I need to find Nick. And how do you plan on finding him? He obviously is not in here. Nick. Nick, what are you doing in the bathroom? Nothing. But that's impossible. It was the wind. Or weather balloon. <sighs> Nick. But his face. What is happening to me? I think you need to lay off the drugs. Hey. That changed. Oh, that's awful. How could the picture have changed like this? Don't know. So, can we leave now? No. I go back to that damn game. Boop. Nothing out there going away? All right, let's do this. Ah, load. <laughs> Why is it like skip around with the player log so much? One through 12, but there's only four. Uh, let's see what the last one says. <gasps> oh my God, can't this just be like one paragraph? <laughs> this is taking too much time. All right. I saw Alex today. He was here, in the apartment, standing by the far wall. He looked the same as he did when I saw him all those years ago on a gurney in a morgue the day after the accident. His dead body cold, his face split open, his eyes wide. Despite his horrific, horrific runes and the odd angle of his neck, he was somehow still alive. He called out to me. He was grinning. I saw the hatred in his dead eyes. I survived the accident. 
even though I was the one drunk and driving. I was flung out of the car and came to unhurt, except I came to unhurt, except for a few scratches. He wanted me to follow him. I begged for forgiveness, but I know it's too late for that. There'd be no redemption for a man like me. I must go after him. I have no choice. First, I have to call Maya. I have to warn her. I have to tell her to stay put, not come looking for me. Because I know Maya. She'll come looking if she doesn't hear from me for too long. She still feels responsible for me, even after all these years. Still blames herself for my failures, even though she absolutely shouldn't. If only she knew that she's the last good thing left in my life. The reason I'm alive is because she saved me a million times already. But she can't save me this time. Not from this. And I can't let her get hurt. If she comes here... Beep, 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 beep. So... Wait, you hadn't spoken to her for, th what, three months? Wasn't that what it said in the beginning? So maybe you shouldn't have called her. Because by calling her, you just urged her to come look for you. Oh my goodness. Oh well. Game. Oh, I'm Ugh, I'm so tired. Yawning non-stop now. Okay. Hey, that's another scroll. Maybe we shouldn't be collecting these. Maybe that's what Nick did. Nick collected all four, and then he got sucked into the game. It's like dot hack. I really wish they would bring dot hack back again. I miss it. Alright, do I need to go up to you? No. So whatever I need is over here. Yeah, it's like dot hack just kind of... I don't know. This ended. Like, so abruptly. The last few releases they had for anything was just, uh... You know, Japanese releases. A fighting game, then a PSP game. And after that, nothing. I'm surprised. I really, I really thought it was good too. The whole being stuck in a game, but your body's in a coma outside. I thought that was cool. I like Die Hack Sign, and I like the the four games for the PS2. Then Die Hack G, who G was okay. Uh, okay. Unknown. You have to restart it again? Nick? Nick? Wait! Nick! Fuck you, Nick. Hey, I can leave. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Nick! Nick? Nick, where are you? Coming to find you. Oh no, I'm being possessed. Hmm? Oh, Nick. Nick. Nick, stop. It's me. He went to the exit. That's where I want to go. Nick has a smart idea. He's like, I'm getting out of here. Hmm. I don't know. I don't trust that elevator. Eh, don't worry about it. Hmm. We're probably gonna have to go in there at some point, I think. Oh, no. Okay, we're not going up. We're going down. How far down do we gotta go? Huh? Huh? Oh, okay. Uh, hmm. I don't know if I trust Nick. Maybe it's not even Nick. You know, at first was why? Why don't we go? You know, if we're trying to find our brother. Wouldn't we be sprinting to find him? That we're walking very slowly. Wait a minute. How many more floors are there? 
Wait, 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 wait. We were already on the fourth floor. I'm waiting for we're like... You, they're Where are you? basement floors? We're all waiting. Oh, they're all waiting, huh? They all float down here. Well, there's no red balloon, so it must be okay. Hey, hey, I tried. Accident. Alex's death. Well, that's your fault. Miserable life. All of it could have been different. If only you'd done what you were supposed to do. What was I supposed to do? I looked after you, didn't I? To my brother. Okay. <sighs> and Maya. Yes, what is it? No, oh, we're back here. Oh wait, that's not us back here. Sometime later I found myself back in the apartment. Wait. I couldn't remember how I got there. What? There was no sign of Nick, or the thing that had looked like him. And his computer would no longer turn on. Aww. I did the only thing I could. I filed a missing person report and flew home. It's been six months since then. I've tried every possible way to locate him, but there's been no word from him. I keep thinking about the thing I saw because he's in the game. Those stairs, the thing from inside the game, when it came at me, just before its awful malevolence could engulf me, something or someone stepped between us and shielded me. Must have been Nick. I think that's how I got away. I think. I think it was Nick who saved me. Oh, it looks like Nick wasn't such a bad guy after all. The end. All right, so that was within. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Had some good scares in it. Um, I didn't like. You know, I hate when there's no sprint in a game. And granted, this is a game that didn't really need the sprint, but it would just make more sense to have one, especially at the end. You know, if you saw your brother and you were chasing after him, wouldn't you want to get there quicker to him? Ah, whatever. But, wow, she she liked to talk a lot, and Nick liked to have a big log. It's like, oh my god, <laughs> just stop, you people, are gabbers. Oh well, on that note, you'll have yourselves a good one, and I will see you later.